Welcome to IBM Build. We're here today to talk about balancing the performance and licensing costs with uh, IBM Turbonomic and Flexera One ITAM. My name is Rob Lowry and my role at Flexera is Senior Director of Engineering for Hybrid IT Applications. Uh, we create compelling enterprise scale solutions that provide full visibility into the entire hybrid IT estate on the Flexera One platform. It's great to see you again, Ovid. It's Ovid Lurie. I'm the Global Field CTO for Turbonomic, uh, which was actually acquired by IBM in 2021. Um, I've been there for over 10 years. So this is really, really exciting. You know, this is one of the things we've talked about with our customers for years, but we finally get to do it and in a big way. Yeah, who knows? We might be long distant relatives. <laughs> they always change the name when you end up somewhere. They do. All right, so um, I'm sure the uh, audience is very familiar with IBM. Um, yeah, I wanted to give you a, a little bit of a background on, on Flexera to start. You know, Flexera and specifically uh, Flexera, the Flexera One platform provides a single platform technology uh, for value optimization across on-prem to SaaS to cloud. Uh, it, it holds you know, definitive technology resource data to give a single source of truth about the technology and the environment for informed decision making. Uh, consumption intelligence, allowing companies to manage compliance and right size their investments with rich usage analytics. And hybrid IT optimization, negotiation readiness with major vendors whose portfolios span on prem and SaaS to cloud, as I mentioned. Um, so, yeah, Ovid, I'd love to you know, hear you share a little bit more about the IBM story. Economic. Yeah, you know, this is exciting for us because, as you know, um, licenses are pretty important. Licenses are pretty ex expensive. And there's no real good way to manage it in real time. And from our perspective, we're really good at automation. You know, I come from a division of IBM called automation. And one of the key things with automation is it introduces simplicity into incredibly complex things. And so anytime we can extend out into other platforms, it really helps our customers get the benefits of these integrations. So taking all the great things we do at IBM and bringing Flexera into the family and being able to help our customers extend what they really, really need to do around licenses into this portfolio is just a win for everybody. Fantastic. And really, this, this part, in much of uh, this year, you know, Flexera and IBM announced this deeper partnership, and it really comprised of three main elements. Flexera One ITAM's integration with Turbonomic, and this is the element and the focus of, of this presentation. Uh, Flexera One ITAM is also now certified as an ILMT alternative, and the IBM sales team can also now OEM and resell Flexera One. So let's get into the details of, of Flexera One ITAM integration with Turbonomic. So what is, what is Flexera One? It, um, it might help me to sort of describe it in a little bit more detail. Um, we have multiple components. We have IT visibility, which cleans and curates IT asset data. And then IT asset management capabilities, enabling the right sizing of software and licenses and spend as well as managing risk and compliance. And finally, cloud management for cost optimization and control. Now, the integration we're going to talk about today is mostly focused on uh, integrating with the IT asset management aspect of, of Flexera One. All right, um, so it probably helps if you also understand a little bit about Turbonomic and then we can dig into these use cases and really understand why did we do it? I mean, we talk about two companies that are very, very good at the things they do. Why bring them together? Now, first piece, if I were to give you a, a high level on why Turbonomic, you know, we always say to our customers, Turbonomic solves the problem of how to assure application performance. Now, that is, that is something that I think everybody wants to do. I think everybody thinks they're doing it. And that's what application resource management does. If you have software that's capable of looking at everything in real time, making the right decisions of what resources to give to applications when they need them, where you can remove resources from applications when they don't need them, you can actually solve the problem of how to assure performance 
but there's trade-offs. I mean, think about it. You know, where, when I said at the beginning, we've wanted to do this for a long time, but this partnership finally brings it to bear. What are the trade-offs? The trade-offs are, I want to assure application performance while doing it at the lowest possible cost while being compliant. What do we talk about when there's compliance? You know, I want to make sure that if I've got licenses for my software, that they're running where they're entitled to run. And I think why I'm so fixated on, I've always wanted to do this is because where do I find out that license entitlement from? How do I know which licenses are supposed to go where? How do I know how to manage the capacity on my licensed servers and my non-licensed servers? So what you'll start to see here is by, by pulling these two pieces of software together, Flexera 1, I mean, it's incredible. It knows what your license entitlement is, right? It knows where you're entitled to use those licenses. And Turbonomic knows how to assure performance but it doesn't out of the box know where those licenses are allowed to live. So we're gonna go through a bunch of different use cases as we go through this, but I think you've heard my motivations. You know, I've always wanted to do this because this is the third leg, compliance. What if software could make the right resourcing decisions and at the same time, do it in the context of compliance? You know, Rob, just, you know, hearing from you, I'd love to understand why this is so interesting on the Flexera side aside from you know, the fact that we get to partner together. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, so if, as you said, Flexera does have a, you know, a really solid view of the environment and you know, compliance and what, what you're entitled to. But being able to sort of not just optimize your license compliance and your spend, but being able to optimize the performance of the environment was what was really exciting for us. You know, and this example here on the screen, you know, you, you've got a cluster and it might have a mix of different workloads. You know, some of them licensable, some of them not licensable. But being, to have those, being able to have those insights into what workloads can be freely moved, um, what other licensed workloads can be moved onto the cluster to optimise and being able to have that sort of true flexibility that both ensures compliance and optimizes performance at the same time. It just seems to be a, a match made in heaven. Yeah, when I look at this use case, and when you talk about clusters, you bring up a good point that's important to bring up. When we're running on-premise in, in customers' environments, specifically in a VMware environment, you're running a bunch of hosts that some of them might be licensed for Windows, some of them might be licensed for Linux, some of them might be licensed for SQL, some of them might be licensed for whatever yeah. software there is. And a critical component of assuring performance is being able to do it in real time. You know, when, when you use Uber, for instance, if you had to wait 20 minutes for that car to show up, you probably wouldn't use that application anymore. So this problem has to be solved in real time. And when you mentioned, you know, moving things around, you got to have that portability. That's what makes this beautiful. The fact that you have these levers that you can pull to relocate workloads to where they belong. You know, in this case, what's great is I might have a cluster that's licensed for all of these workloads, but it may not be running at capacity, which means I can bring other workloads in to use that capacity as long as I don't interfere with my licensed servers. And if my licensed servers need that those resources, then I can move those non-licensed workloads somewhere else where there is capacity. So it's basically allowing you to multiplex your workloads and assure performance using all of the resources available to you. I mean, we have this incredible mobility of applications, but we don't have something that's smart enough to understand all these constraints and performance and cost at the same time. And that's what finally comes together with this solution. Very exciting. Well, let's, uh, let's get into a little bit on the uh, collaboration itself. So really, there's, there's three elements to the automation success story here. And when we started uh, working on this in the, the second half of 2021 and, and thinking about you know, the, the complementary nature of our products, we could immediately tell that there was a lot of potential for sort of these one plus one equals three style outcomes where you know, the, the, the set of the part, the, the combination of the parts is, is, a, is a really... You know, bigger solution there. 
Um, and there were really three primary elements to the uh, automation success story. Um, better together use cases, an API first approach, and just global collaboration across IBM and Flexera. So let's go into these in a little bit more detail. So really uh, cross company and, and cross, there was a lot of cross company and cross functional collaboration when we first started talking about this to explore the better together use cases. Uh, they were validated with customers of both companies to sort of narrow down the scope into what our first phase of this uh, partnership and integration might look like. We ended up settling on, um, on one and two, really the ability to enforce compliance and optimize licensing costs within those sort of use cases. Uh, down th that collaboration really helped the, the teams uh, establish sort of a mental model of domain and how it relates to Flex Era One and Turbonomic. You know, we both work in the same space, uh, but uh, are familiar with all of the underlying technologies, but getting that sort of shared mental model of of what we're trying to do here and really sort of helped within the teams there. There's future use cases we explored as well, and, and we'll get into those a little bit at the end, but you know, for now we're gonna talk about the, uh, the, the compliance and licensing cost types, one and two. All right. Now on the API first approach, we, we knew with the tight timelines that we had, we needed the teams to be able to work in parallel. We, wanted, we were back in sort of, I think it was around September of 2021, and we knew we wanted to launch early in, in 2022. And so we took an API first approach in drafting a, a public open API design for the new RESTful API that would provide a complete view of, of the resources, the licenses and applications within the Flexera One ecosystem uh, so that uh, the, the teams could uh, work in parallel and develop their independent sort of solutions and then you know, we, we included uh, that open API design, sample JSON data to enable mocking. So both teams could work really ahead of uh, integration testing on their independent sides. Um, lots of collaboration between the, the teams. And so, you know, really, as we're working um, as a globally distributed team, multiple time zones, you know, multiple different teams, Collaboration was going to be key. Uh, you know, straight away, you know, two different companies, we obviously had some variation in collaboration tools we were using. You know, Flexera is using Microsoft Teams, IBM is using WebEx and Slack. And so straight away, we, we had to sort of settle on some common tools and, and common methods for collaboration uh, across the teams. Fine-grained milestones were broken down and tracked you know, very closely in, in regular meetings, weekly meetings, and also they included regular demos to enable iterative feedback between the teams. Uh, and you know, many people you know, mentioned to me, it was almost like, well, we were, we were functioning as one team. And that's what was most exciting to me, you know, seeing the, the engineers you know, work directly together and collaborate on producing the vision for the, the solution. Uh, how did you find the, situ the, the collaboration of it? No, it's incredible because it was a really, it was really easy to come to the same conclusion that we attack the APIs, which makes it extensible, makes it something mm -hmm. that we can even iterate on in the future. As you said, we attacked use case one and two to start, but this basically showed that we could move very, very fast together. You know, Turbonomic itself, the platform, you know, we've always had all these other components to assure application performance, make decisions, take actions. And what we quickly identified together is, let's use the APIs to bring the constraints in. And everybody agreed. And we came up with this very, very simple yet elegant solution to tie these technologies together. I mean, Flexera One, um, IBM is OEMing it. Why? Because our customers need it. Bringing that data into this and doing it so fast just shows how much we can get done in the future. And yeah, I couldn't agree more. Our teams worked incredibly well together. And this is just something now we can iterate on as we look to future use cases and we get our customers um, really digging in and taking advantage of these capabilities. Yeah, it really was a fantastic collaboration and continues to be. So now as a result of this, Turbonomic leverages Flexera One's license intelligence to automate 
resource optimization. It's all about license and resource optimization, ensuring that licensed servers stay on licensed clusters for compliance and Flexera informs Terminomic, adding further intelligence to automate performance optimization actions. And so we go from software asset managers and CFOs doing more software asset management uh, aspects and looking at the ownership and compliance, total cost of ownership and compliance to enabling all these different roles within an organization. Mm -hmm. Uh, with that, with the, the combined solution. So, if, for example, if resource utilization increases, Terminomic will move or scale non-licensed workloads. And this means performance, compliance, and costs are simultaneously optimized, reducing the total cost of ownership of IT investments. Yeah, I think when I look at this, I think about the benefit to each of the personas. You know, what does a CFO get out of this? Imagine if you plug Turbonomic and Flexera into your environment and within 45 minutes, you immediately understand your compliance situation without any configuration. Just plug them in together, Turbonomic via API over to Flexera one and boom. Now I know where I stand. What if I don't stand in the right place? Well, guess who benefits from that? CIO doesn't have to worry that this problem that itself is beyond human scale is something that we have to worry about our people on. So the CFO knows that he's not going to get a bill. The CIO knows that it's not left to teams to try to solve an unsolvable problem. The CTO has technology vendors that cover two incredible spaces that tie into each other. And at the end of the day, uh, if we know where everything is, we know what we're compliant. We know what we're not supposed to have as well. So having full asset control and doing this in real time is incredibly, incredibly valuable. And I think, you know, we go back to automation. Automation isn't always about just moving things or sizing things. I mean, when we talk about introducing this simplicity through automation, just the fact that these two solutions without any configuration, understanding where you stand in these virtual environments from a compliance perspective with these licenses in no time at all is just a huge benefit to our customers. I mean, how do your customers do it today, Rob? I mean, you, you give them all this capability to understand what their, what their entitlement is. How do they manage this today? Yeah, I mean, in a lot of instances, they, they probably have to do it manually. You know, this is the, the power of the, the, uh, the combined solution. Being able to automate it in real time is just so powerful. Yeah, I, th I think it brings up the point. This isn't because people aren't doing a great job. The problem itself is going beyond human scale. We have so many different platforms, containers, virtualization, cloud that we have to manage. And somebody's buying licenses and somebody's managing apps and somebody's managing resources. Yeah. It's, it can't be done with a spreadsheet reliably. So, you know, when you talked about the first two use cases, you know, number three, number four, planning and control, those are those are things that will become incredibly valuable, not just, you know, on premise, but as you said in number four, going to the cloud. What are we going to do there as we shift the problem somewhere else? Yeah. So really, I mean, today customers struggle to balance that license cost and the application performance. That's what we're talking about here. And, and meet the dynamic business demands in their complex hybrid environments. So the Flexera and IBM automation integration, it provides really that, that unmatched capability and, and visibility with automation. That's what we're talking about here, to both enforce compliance, optimize performance, control costs, and accelerate their journey into AI ops. It really is uh, such yeah. a, a match made in heaven there. Yeah, and, and again, it's like you look at what the team has built and the time to value for somebody. Imagine if you could do all this discovery of not just your license entitlement, but of the entities that your licensors are running in and have the actions that you need to perform to drive yourself back into compliance and understand what the cost of the, the implications of this. Because, you know, when we talk about trade-offs, performance, cost, compliance. Are you going to sacrifice performance to stay in compliance? If you're not, what are you going to do to assure performance so that you stay in compliance? Because a lot of the times what I find when I talk to customers, I mean, have you ever run into this? You know, I've got four servers, 
or that, that I need to run my workloads on, but I really need a fifth server in order to assure performance, but I keep it on four just to stay in, in license compliance, or do I just go out of compliance and say, I'll tell somebody about it later? I mean, what do you see? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah very, it's a very uh, dangerous sort of situation to be in, I guess, is to have that uncontrolled spend within an organization if people are, are dealing with it. How, yeah. how do organizations plan if they if, uh, you know, plan their, their spend, plan their budget, if that sort of uh, uncontrolled cost is... Yeah. is We're occurring. not going to get fired because we spend too much money. It's when yeah. our applications break. Yeah. So it's, yeah, just throw money at the problem, but that's expensive. And what we're giving you here is an opportunity to solve those trade-offs in a very simple... And when, yes. when we go into the demo, we're actually going to show you how simple it is and what this time to value is. Yes. So yeah, look, we believe that really no other solution on the market provides this ability. Um, it's, it's uniquely placed, so uh, very exciting. Um, okay, so you know, we've, we've launched this phase one. I'm very excited about it and getting very positive feedback. Uh, we're now thinking about future possibilities or working on the, the next stages in, in the roadmap there. In wrapping up, you know, I, I, I think I can say that for the Flexera team, you know, how much we value this partnership and how positive the collaboration with our teams has been to date and how excited we are with these future possibilities. So some of those possibilities could include other vendors and licenses, expansion into the public cloud, cloud cost and analytics. Ovid, what are you most excited about about the future? Yeah, I think the public cloud is incredibly interesting, both the public cloud and cloud native, because you still have control, you still have decisions that can be made, you still have software levers that you can pull. And when, when I talk to customers, you know, they're always asking, I've got all these licenses on premise, how will they translate into my license entitlement? Because you can't always use the licenses you own on premise in the public cloud. So how do I plan for something like that? And how do I optimize that? And, you know, so, so that's really where I think it's most exciting. Um, what about you, Rob? Which one, which one's uh, the best for you? Yeah, look, I'm excited about being able to bring that whole hybrid IT estate together. So I agree, you know, expansion into public cloud is going to be key, but getting to that position where, you know, with a single vendor, you're able to, to optimize and uh, manage performance of, your on-prem SaaS and cloud technologies. And, and then ultimately even plan, you know, migrations and balance between those different uh, platforms. You might have an on-prem technology that you're looking to, to migrate into, into the cloud. So being able to plan you know, across, across at that vendor level and have a really um, you know, robust conversation with the vendor about all of their solutions that they're providing for you. Um, yeah. that, that's exciting to me. Yeah, I mean, this is great. You know, we, we've talked about this for years at Turbonomic. And, you know, what, what's great about IBM acquiring the Turbonomic platform is enabling us to work with, um, with vendors like yourselves, like Flexera. The fact that we see such value in OEMing the solution because we know our customers need it, but having a platform to tie that, that those constraints into and manage it and finally bring that third that third leg compliance to the forefront. I mean, our customers have been asking for it for years. I remember, you know, years ago as a sales engineer, I used to go in and I used to plug in, these are my SQL servers and these are my Windows servers. And then when it changed, you'd have to go do it all again or I'd have to go find some other system that somebody was updating manually. So to have the best in class at license management feeding us these constraints so that we know they're accurate. Our customers, which have always been about trust, you, know, you don't get any value from Turbonomic if you never take the actions. It's a platform, it does something. And now you actually have that trust that your licenses are going to be intact. And we didn't stop at virtualization. We're in public cloud, we're managing containers, and so are you. So. You know, the, the opportunity is limitless as licenses move with the workloads to continue to manage that entitlement and compliance. Very exciting. 
Well, coming up next, we've got a demo of the solution. So stick around and um, we'll see you soon.